Lies was eight was a 28-year-old German man who was vacationing in Bulgaria in 2014 with his friends until one day he mysteriously disappeared just out of the blue. Last place he was seen was a Venner airport in Varna, Bulgaria. No one seems to know why he disappeared and all that were left was his footage with him last seen at the airport taking off. He supposedly brought chicken in a fight over a game which led to him having to stay in Bulgaria for longer. This was due to the fact that he might have suffered a concussion and perhaps maybe had a ruptured eardrum, according to a doctor. Hey man, what do you think about this game? I think the, the Warriors kind of suck without Curry. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I think the other team's playing kind of bad, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna get another drink, all right? Okay. Black, black spreads? Not even the optimal. Well, how do you guys think the game is going? Honestly, like, your team's getting destroyed. Nah, your team is doing worse, though. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, look at the scoreboard. You're wearing skinny jeans. What you said? What? Like, you got a problem? The doctor suggested he stayed home for the next few weeks. And so his friends insisted on staying with Mitzink, but he urged them not to. So I am unfortunately seeing a blockage in your ear canal. Um, I know you mentioned that you're traveling, so I wouldn't recommend going on a plane anytime soon because you need your rest and further complications could arise if, if anything could happen, your earlobe could rupture. So I'm gonna send you a referral to get further tested and get some more treatment, but do you have any questions for me? When's the soonest I could take a flight back home? Probably no less than 30 days. You probably need to take your rest and you need to get your earlobe and your canal healed. Um, fully before anything happens because we don't want any complications. So, are we all good? Okay. All right. And so then, he was left all alone. After his friends traveled back home, he stayed at a cheap hotel near the airport. Mitzink starts to exhibit strange behavior. He called home to his mother in which he was acting very odd. Apparently, same people were trying to kill him. He was seen in hotel CCTV footage, pacing back and forth, looking out the window. Mom, I'm really scared. I think these guys are following me. And apparently leaving for a few hours at midnight and came back. It's still unsure where he went in that time frame. Later, Mitzink went to the airport again. He saw a physician for a checkup and he was then allowed to fly back home. He was already prepared as he had all his belongings, but during his consultation, a construction worker answered, and all were left with his footage of Minting bolting out of the airport, leaving all his stuff behind. He was last seen jumping over a fence never to be found again. This is where the mystery begins. Theory 1 But Zachary reports it is unlikely that Mintink was involved, as authorities did not find any drugs among his personal belongings. However, it has also been suggested that his friends who flew back without him were the ones who had ran drugs back to Germany, and he stayed behind as some sort of insurance. Everyone can buy the stuff? Yeah. Thank you. Take him a goes wrong. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Barry, too. He was actually getting targeted. He did call him to tell his mother that. He mentioned that he was being stalked and people wanted to kill him, which could explain why there's no body to be found. Theory 3. The most widely accepted theory is a drug induced psychotic episode leading to the supposed accidental death of Lars Mittank. According to this one Reddit user, who many people agree with, Mintik likely died in the forest.
Perhaps he died the dehydration. Or possibly killed by animals. It's been about eight years and eight months since Lars Mistake has been missing. His whereabouts say a mystery and there have been supposed sightings of him, but none seems to lead to anything that is true and or confirmed. Lars Mistake remains to be the most famous missing person on YouTube. Four years after his disappearance, the security footage of him has been viewed over 16 million times. And now whatever happened to him remains a mystery.